And we begin with breaking news. Authorities in Las Vegas say the man responsible for killing three people on the UNLV campus had plans to kill people at ECU. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. WRL's Chelsea Donovan spoke with some of the suspect's former students on campus at ECU. We're going to begin, though, with Matt Tallhelm in the Live Center with what we know about a hit list. Matt? Yeah, Gerald and Deborah, within the last hour, we learned all of this from authorities in Las Vegas as they continue to investigate this shooting. It's all because of the 67 year old Anthony Polito. He was a professor, a tenured professor at ECU before ending up there in Las Vegas. Let's take a look at the very latest. Here's what we learned from that investigation. The gunman had mailed letters that morning, 22, at least 22 of these letters went out the morning of the shooting. The authorities there had to stop the mail and intercepted at least some of those letters, and at least one of them included a white powder. Police are warning anyone to beware of mail with no return address on any of those ECU faculty members or staff members there should be aware. If you get any kind of mail like that, do not open it and contact authorities immediately. Let's take a listen to what the sheriff in Clark County had to say in Nevada. The suspect had a list of people he was seeking on a university campus, as well as faculty from the Eastern Carolina University. Now, the sheriff says they believe they have contacted everyone who they think those letters were sent out to, except for one person who's on an international flight right now. But again, a warning, if you know of this guy, if you are at ECU, be very wary of any kind of mail like that that could come in. Now, Chelsea Donovan, WRL's Chelsea Donovan, talked to some students who remember Polito when he was a professor there at ECU for more than 15 years. She continues our team coverage now. Yeah, Matt, the students I spoke to were shocked, as you can imagine. They described the professor as fun, jovial, and engaging with his students. But nearly all of them I spoke to say he would constantly talk about his love for the city of Las Vegas and work the city into his supply chain management curriculum. It was inside the Bates Building, the College of Business, on the campus of ECU, where Anthony Polito taught for more than 16 years. I never had any negative things to say about him because he was always joking, jovial, and um, upbeat. Eric Smithwick took Polito's supply chain management classes in the fall of 2006. Now he's stunned to learn that Polito is the accused UNLV campus shooter. My mouth just dropped. I could not believe it. Polito taught in the business school from 2001 to 2017 when he resigned. He was a tenured associate professor who also gained his MBA from Duke's Fuqua School of Business. He was a good teacher. Um, he talked a lot about marketing. Nearly all the former ECU students we talked to said he had an obsession with the city of Las Vegas and brought that affinity into his lectures. The majority of his focus was on the supply chain of Las Vegas, casinos and hotels. He talked uh, just a lot about his trips to Las Vegas and how much he loved Las Vegas. He talked a lot about going to Vegas, like when to go, um, really random. NBC sources say he recently applied for a teaching job at UNLV but was not hired. His personal website even details his interests of the city as well. Police said the shooting started on the fourth floor of the building that houses the university's Lee Business School. They believe Polito went to several floors before he was killed in a shootout with two university detectives outside the building. Three people were confirmed dead. Now, right now, it remains unclear from East Carolina as to why Polito resigned from 2017. He was a tenured associate professor. Gerald. Chelsea Donovan in our studio. Thank you, Chelsea.